Hello, and welcome to Minutes Within the Mist, where we frolic with the fairies to tell you about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today, we want to tell you about the strange but wonderful story of the Cottingley Fairies. It was in 1917 of West Yorkshire, England, when a 9-year-old Frances Griffiths and her 16-year-old cousin, Elsie Wright, would spend their time in a stream nearby the garden to see fairies that lived there. Their parents did not believe them at first until Elsie borrowed her father's camera. Around an hour later, he had developed the photographs himself and discovered a group of fairies dancing and cavorting around. In 1919, photographic expert Harold Snelling concluded that the photographs were indeed genuine. They showed no signs of tampering and even had a slight blurring around the figures that seemed to suggest that the creatures had been moving when the photos were taken. One person who was particularly impressed by the photographs was the author, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle of Sherlock Holmes fame. He was thoroughly convinced that the photos were real and would go on to further write a whole book about it called The Coming of the Fairies in 1922. While some were thoroughly convinced that the photos showed actual fairies, there was a fair number of critics as well who pointed out a variety of problems with the photographs such as they looked like the popular image of fairies from fairy tales, or that they were dressed in the latest fashions. Or the most obvious observation is that they just looked like two-dimensional pieces of paper. However, a psychic by the name of Geoffrey Hudson visited the home and claimed that he could also see the fairies everywhere, although no new pictures were taken. It was not until the 1980s that Francis and Elsie all grown up, would confess the hopes in the photos by using cardboard cutouts from their children's books. They would fashion wings in them, and then they would suspend them with hat pins. When asked why they had kept quiet about the hoax for so long, they explained that it was because they felt bad about fooling the esteemed author, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. They did not want to embarrass him. Looking at the photographs today, it's hard to imagine how people believed that these were actual fairies. But, for quite a few years, people did. I hope you enjoyed the story of the Cottingley Fairies, and will join us again for more cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. But until then, double-check those photographs and remain constantly curious.